The Damian Lillard saga has finally ended as Damian Lillard is finally traded to the Milwaukee Bucks in a blockbuster three-team deal. The Buck fans are just having a celebration, a parade. The Heat fans is having a funeral, unfortunately, because they thought they was going to get Damian Lillard since he wanted to go to the Heat. But no, but no. <laughs> as a Celtics fan, you enjoy the misery of the Miami Heat fans. So, but I am JP. So the Bucks um, got Damian Lillard. So are they going to be the favorites that's going to be coming out the East? Are they going to be the favorites to come into the NBA Finals? Are they the favorites to win the championship? Please let me know in the comments below. Let's go ahead and get into this uh, news right here. So yes, like I said, Damian Lillard got traded to the Milwaukee Bucks in a blockbuster three-team deal. Portland receives Drew Holiday, DeAndre Ayton, Kamara, Milwaukee's 2029 20, unprotected first round draft pick, and unprotected Milwaukee swap rights in 2028 and 2030. The Sens receive Yosef Nukic, Grayson Allen, Nasir Little, and Keon Johnson as part of the trade package. So we're going to be talking about the Bucks side of it. So... What does it mean for the Bucks to get Damian Lillard? So, Damian Lillard is one of the best players in the NBA. All NBA guard last season. All-star. Also one of the best clutch players in the NBA in late game situations. A guy that can create his own shot and was able to do the pick and roll. Also handle the rock. So, offensively, it is an upgrade from the Bucks because the Bucks struggled last season with somebody that can close out games other than Chris Middleton. They don't really have anyone else. Maybe Drew Holiday to an extent, but they didn't really have like someone that can create their own shots. And then Giannis can't really shoot the ball really well or go into the free throw line, so you can't really trust him. And then you can't really rely on the others to get it done for you in terms of hitting their shots consistently. So getting Damian Lillard is a plus because now Milwaukee got two closers in Chris Middleton and Damian Lillard. So you have to pretty much pick the, your poison, unfortunately. But it was a great move offensively. Now, there is questions regarding about the Bucks team, the new look Bucks this season, and I have three questions. Number one, the bench. How good the bench is going to be. Now, the Bucks had one of the deepest benches in NBA, as they said, with Bobby Portis leading the charge, along with Grayson Allen. So, in terms of the bench, losing Grayson Allen to the Suns, um, unfortunately, that took a hit, unfortunately. But that just tells you Bobby Portis has to up the ante into his scoring. And then you also have Dragic, you also have Jay Crowder, you also have Miles Leonard. So, and others. So, basically, you have to see how good the bench is going to be because last season they were ranked 17th in bench scoring and 14th in bench stats. Bobby Poise had a really great season in terms of being in the six men of the year voting in the top three or five. Um, I don't remember exactly, but he had a really good. Who are you really going to trust? We know we can trust Bobby Ford, but who's going to be your second option score? Now, the Bucks added Malik Beasley from the Lakers. They, he, then also they added uh, Robin Lopez for defensive purposes. So who's going to be your second option score? Is it going to be Jay Crowder? Is it going to be Dragic? Is it going to be uh, Malik Beasley? I mean, we've seen Malik Beasley have spurts last season with the Lakers when he's hot from the three. We've seen Dragic take over some games. We've seen Jay Crowder hit threes when he's really hot. So we don't really know what the second option of score is going to come off the bench other than maybe Bobby Porter. So that's going to be interesting to see how good the bench is going to be this season. Now, my second question is the new head coach, Adrian Griffin, because he just got hired by the Bucks uh, this offseason, coming from Toronto as an assistant, winning the championship with the Toronto Raptors back in 2019. So he's a defensive-minded coach. And, you know, he kind of impressed me in the press conference saying that he wants to improve um, on the offensive line, but like he still wants to have a defensive mentality. He also says that he wants the right assistant coaches that can complement his style. And the one thing that GM John Hus really loves about him is that he can make adjustments mid-game on both ends on the floor, which he, which Mr. Griffin excel at. So 
the Bucks made a move to get former Blazers head coach Terry Scott because he's both offensive minded and managed games. That's what Andrew Griffin was looking for. So it was like a right hire for the Bucks. And also it's good because now Terry Scott is familiar with Damian Lillard and being able to help them. So the reunion is back with Terry Scott and Damian Lillard. So that's going to be exciting to see. But we have to see the schemes, the plays. So what type of pace the bus is going to run through with uh, Adrian Griffin as a new coach? So we've seen first-year head coaches do really well, like a Steve Kerr, Larry Bird, Mary Doka, just to name a few. So we've seen that happen before. So that's another question that I have in terms of the Bucks this season, the new look bus, we should say. And my last question is the defense um, in terms of the perimeter. Losing Drew Holiday is huge because not only you lost one of your core pieces but also you lost a guy that can guard multiple positions defensively on the perimeter so we don't we know that Damian Lillard ain't going to do that he's not really a good defensive player so who are you going to rely on that can guard like positions defensively on the perimeter we know that the front court is going to be already good defensively because you have the Lopez brothers. You also have Leonis leading the charts defensively. And then you got some good wing defenders like a Jay Crowder. So my question is, who's going to be that person that's going to guard those guard plays in the perimeter? And also an offensive-minded team that can shoot threes really well, like, you know, a Golden State Warriors or a Sacramento Kings. So who's going to be that person that's going to guard multiple uh, positions defensively? So that's another question I have for the Bucks. Now, are the Bucks the favorites to come out the East? Possibly. Possibly. It feels like they're going to be a threat to the Boston Celtics. The Boston Celtics, you know, got Porzingis. They lost Marcus Smart and Grant Williams. So, and then they added some other uh, pieces to the team. So, it's going to be a really good matchup between the Celtics and the Bucks. But, uh, Milwaukee possibly, possibly can come out the East. Possibly can win the championship if only a couple things happen. If Adrian, coast, uh, Adrian uh, Griffin does an exceptional job coaching the team, Damian Lillard buys into his role with the team and being able to just be himself. The chemistry has to be really good. The motivation and hunger to win a championship has to be there. And then they can make up the defensive side in terms of guarding the perimeter and being able to not let someone get hot. Because we've seen the Bucks last season when somebody gets hot, they can't really stop them. For example, Jimmy Butler going off for 56 points and Jason Tatum going off for 40 points in a 41-point blowout. So there's a lot of question with the Bucks this season, but I'm very excited for this team because it looks really good on paper. So we would just have to see what happens this season. So let me know your thoughts down below and and let me know if the Bucks is going to come. If you definitely like this video, make sure you put a like on this video. Make sure you subscribe to Insta JP for more content and click the notification bell. You know where our next upload is. I'm JP. Y'all have such a wonderful day. Peace.